This UGC style ad was made entirely with AI. Apparently this is the spiciest instant ramen you can buy. Let's see if I regret this. I've tried so many spicy noodles and none of them are actually spicy. All right, let's try this crazy 3X spicy ramen everyone talks about. Let's drop it in. Why does this already feel like a bad idea? It's so hot. Why is it so good and so painful? Grab a pack and do the spice challenge with me. People are paying hundreds of dollars to platform like Billow to create UGC ad like this. But with OpenR, you can create something similar for a fraction of the cost. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my entire workflow from generating photorealistic characters to animating them into a finished ad inside OpenArt. I also tested all the major models for you, the latest image generation models, lip sync tools, and video generation models, so I can share what actually works and what's still not quite there yet. Whether you're running ads for your own products or building this as a service for your clients, this workflow can save or make you hundreds of dollars per video. So let's get started. Before making any UGC style ad, the first thing I do is look for inspiration. You can scroll through meta ad library or just search TikTok for the niche you're creating for. This helps you understand how people talk, the pacing, and also what kind of ideas actually work. You want to pay close attention to the hooks in the first few seconds. Those few seconds are when people decide to stay or scroll past you. So after that, I write a short script and here's a script I'll be using for today's demonstration. Once you have a script, you will want to break it down. And there are two things you need to plan, A roles and B roll. A roll is the main clip where the character talking directly to the camera and deliver the core message. And B roll is all the supporting footage that adds context or visual interest on top of your A roll. For skincare, that might include applying the serum, washing the face, and showing the texture or some macro product shot. So these B roll clips are usually layered on top of the A roll to make the video more dynamic. And they're also great for covering imperfections in AI generated talking footage. So first, let's generate the character. For video like this, we need a realistic character who also matches your target audience and the ideal customer profile. So first we generate the character image and then combine her with the product. Once we have that, we animate the still image into a talking video. So first let's start with generating the characters in the image creation panel. And for UGC style ads, realism is super important. The character has to feel like a real person, someone your audience can actually relate to. We don't want an obvious AI generated model. Of course, depending on the platform, you may still need to disclose that AI was used, but we want to visually keep her as natural and believable as possible. In the image creation panel, the first thing we need to do is to select the right model because the model you choose has a huge impact on realism. I'm going to test several of the most advanced options for this purpose. I will test Nano Banana Pro, Flux 2 Pro, OpenR Photorealistic, and C Dream 4. Uh, we'll compare them all and see which one actually performs the best. The second key element, just as important as the model, is your text prompt. And this is where you control the realism. On screen, I am showing the best practice of the prompt structure for realistic results. And it follows a simple formula. We can put a realism booster plus the subject, lighting, and extra details. I've also listed several realism key phrases here you can plug into each category. And these four elements work together to push the character to a more realistic look. This is not a complete list. You can definitely ask ChatGPT or your LLM to expand it. But these are great starting points to help you dial in a more natural and believable character. And since we're creating a skincare focused influencer, her skin needs to look aspirational, but still like human. That's why I actually had to test it a few times, adding and removing realism details until I found the balance I wanted. Here we don't need image guidance since we're creating the initial character. The spec for the character creation is not a is important, but we'll use a 9 by 16 aspect ratio for TikTok style vertical video. And for models like Nano Banana Pro, we can pick either 4K or 2K resolution, depending on how much details you want. And here we can adjust how many images to generate at once and then hit create. And here are the results. Flex 2 Pro's results are a bit too polished. Seedream 4 characters are often too perfect. Open art, art photorealistic is probably the most realistic with the characters that are more down to earth. I think Nano Banana Pro gives a more balanced result. So for this type of realistic UGC character creation, the better ones I like are Nano Banana Pro and OpenR Photorealistic. I'm picking this one from Nano Banana Pro for our character. 
So once we decide on the character, let's combine the product and the character together. Because UGC ads also need clear text on the product packaging, I'm going to use Nano Banana Pro moving forward since it gives the most legible text and most consistency in terms of character and product. Flux 2 Pro can also print clear labels, but I think Nano Banana Pro gives me the best overall balance, also a 4K output. So for the rest of this project, I'll be sticking with Nano Banana Pro to combine the product and the character together. To combine the character and product, we'll start by selecting Nano Banana Pro model. And then in the Omni Reference panel, we can upload both the character image and the product image. In the prompt area, I'll add something like hyper-realistic UGC selfie style 4K smartphone photo of the stunning white influencer at the beginning. And then describe the scene in detail. I also like to spell out the text that appears on the product label. It is optional, but in my test, it constantly makes the printed text more clear and more readable. For the output settings, we will choose the mobile 9x16 vertical format. And for resolution, you can choose either 2K or 4K depending on the needs. But if the product label is not coming out clear enough, I would often switch to the 4K to have more room for details. Once everything looks good, choose how many images you want to generate and click create. And here are the results. So I'm actually pretty surprised when you switch to 4K, Nano Banana Pro give you pretty good rendering text. You can see here, even the tiny fine print on the label is almost perfect, especially when you type out the text in the text prompt like I did. And also the 4K details of the skin texture is super realistic. And if you zoom in, you can see all the fine line and wrinkle and stuff. All the mimic human imperfection. For an ad with products, level of consistency is very helpful and sometimes necessary. So we will use this as the hero image. And from here, you can use it to create alternate angles or new scenes while also keeping everything stylistically consistent. What you need to do is to use this hero image as the reference and just adjust your text prompt to create different scene. For the B-rolls, I also generated this close-up shot like this to show the serum texture using the hero image as the reference. And this way we make sure the style stays consistent because it's based on the hero image. And here's another one, the same character applying the serum while holding the bottle. And here's another one of her washing her face. If you want a clear look of the product in the same scene, sometimes you may find that the product is not clear enough for you if you use this method to create a scene. If you want a clear look on the product, then you can simply just regenerate the scene using both the character and the product image as the references. And also add text on the label as part of the text prompt just in case. Also use the 4K resolution. So this way we can make sure the product has the best clarity in the scene. Next, we're going to animate the scene. We'll start with the A-roll where the character is talking directly to the camera. And for this, we have two options. But we'll begin with lip sync method. Inside Open Art, go to Video and select Lip Sync Video. For the who will be talking part, choose our hero image, the one where she's holding the product. And under what will they say, you can either use audio from history where you generated from Open Art's audio section, or upload your own audio, or even record directly inside Open Art. On a side note, OpenR now has an audio section where you can generate your voiceover by simply typing in your text and converting it into speech. So they recently added the Minimax 2.6 model, which sounds much more natural, and they also offer other 11 labs options. So you can try both. The workflow is simple. Just type in your script and choose a voice from the list. You can scroll through the available voices and listen to each one to find a tone you like. And below that, there are voice control parameters like speed, volume, pitch, tone, intensity, and timbre. You can adjust these if the default output doesn't match the vibe you're going for. And once you're happy with the settings, click Create to generate the speech, and the results will be on the right. And this one is created with Minimax Speech 2.6 HD. People always ask me how I still look 20, even though I'm actually almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. And this one is with 11 Lab B3. People always ask me how I still look 20, even though I'm actually almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. Both are pretty good and can sound quite natural. But for UGC content specifically, I actually prefer voices that are not as perfect. Sometimes a voice that's too clean actually feels less real. 
So for this demo, I actually generated my audio with Fish Audio instead. And also OpenR will be integrating Fish Audio soon as well. In the lip sync panel, I'll upload my own audio. After uploading the audio, some models have an optional box where you can describe the scene to control what happens during her speech. Since this is just uh, talking to the camera, I'll just keep the video guidance very simple. She's talking to the camera, sharing her experience about the product with her audience. At the top, you'll also see several lip sync models you can anime with and we'll test all the ones that are supporting the still image starting frames. I'll go ahead and generate each version for you so we can compare the results. And let's review the lip sync results from each model. Starting with Hydra. People always ask me how I still look 20 even though I'm actually almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. I've been using this serum every single day and night for the past 20 years. The lip sync is actually quite accurate, but the overall movement feels a bit awkward. People always ask me how I still look 20 even though I'm actually almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. I've been using this serum every single day and night for the past 20 years. Uh, this one is open art lip sync. The movement looks more natural, but the lip sync itself is not 100% there. People always ask me how I still look 20 even though I'm actually almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. I've been using this serum every single day and night for the past 20 years. Only Human 1 has decent lip sync, but it sometimes gives off a slightly plastic and AI generated look. People always ask me how I still look 20 even though I'm actually almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. I've been using this serum every single day and night for the past 20 years. Adafi Aurora has a pretty good lip sync, but I think the style shifted a little bit. People always ask me how I still look 20 even though I'm actually almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. I've been using this serum every single day and night for the past 20 years. Finally, the new Omni Human 1.5 has the most natural movement of all the lip sync options. The motions feel believable and also the lip sync lines up pretty well. I think one issue is that the style smooths out like a beauty filter is applied. One issue all of them have is that the text does not remain fully readable during the process. This is just the current limitations of these models. So while none of these lip sync models are perfect, if I have to pick one to build on, I'd start with the Omni Human 1.5, which has the most convincing result. But it does cost more credits and also if you're okay with the filtering effect. And here are the credit costs for the 10 second result for each model. But don't worry if you still want something even more realistic. For the second method, we're going to animate a scene using image to video. For the image to video method, we're going to use VO 3.1 and 1 2.5. These two models can generate both video and audio together, and they'll allow us to upload our own realistic character as a starting frame. Sora 2 can also produce extremely realistic animation with audio, but at the moment it's more limited when it comes to taking a real human input image. So for now, we're skipping Sora for this type of character-based UGC workflow, but if you're okay with just 12 seconds of result, you can also use Sora just by typing in the text prompt and describing your character. The downside is that the second time you want to use it, it is hard to get the same character doing the same thing. In the star frame section, we'll upload the hero image we created earlier. So in the prompt box, I'm using multi-scene prompts. Although for this purpose, you don't really need to have multi-scene prompt, but this is how I structure the three scenes and include the spoken lines inside the quotation marks. This helps the model understand which parts are dialogue. And below, we can adjust the video settings based on the needs. Once everything looks good, we click create. And for 1 2.5, we, we can also add negative prompts for things we want to exclude. And here is the result from 1 2.5. People always ask me how I still look 20, even though I'm almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. I've been using this serum every single day and night for the past 20 years. And here's the VO 3.1 result. People always ask me how I still look 20, even though I'm almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. I've been using this serum every single day and night for the past 20 years. And this is a significant improvement. It's hard to tell at first glance if this is AI generated. The lip sync and the expression all line up pretty well with the audio. And I think it also has a relatively stable text on the product. So VO 3.1 is my go-to to create this type of video. While I was editing this clip, Clean 2.6 dropped and it also actually have the native audio built-in feature. So we're going to also try this one using the same prompt and here is the result. People always ask me how I still look 20 even though I'm almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. I've been using this serum every single day and night for the past 20 years. 
One thing I really like is the realism quality of the video. You can see that her skin texture is remain pretty realistic and the movement is very natural as well as the lip sync is super on point. And before she flipped the bottle, actually the uh, text stay pretty legible, not 100% on the bottle. Unfortunately, after she turned the bottle and faced us again, the whole text changed. I think this is still a challenging thing for all of these models to nail, which is the legible text on product and the consistency of those texts. But I'm surprised that the consistency of the character actually remains a lot better in Clean 2.6 compared to VO 3.1. And also the lip sync and the sound is a lot better in Clean 2.6 compared to 1 2.5. I would say Clean 2.6 is definitely a good addition to the toolbox to create this kind of video. Now that we have our A rolls, we can move on to animating the B roll scenes using the same image to video method. This includes shots like washing the face and the serum texture close up or applying the skincare onto the skin. For these simpler realistic motions, models like C Dance 1 and Clean 2.5 are usually more than enough. These are my go-to for these type of quiet scenes. They handle natural movement, water motion, also product texture pretty well, although sometimes you can still see weird physics that are not quite right. These models are also more credit efficient for these simpler tasks. Once we have all our video clips, we can bring everything together into the editor. So you'll want to place the A-roll on the base layer and stack the B-roll clips on top wherever they're relevant. This is also a great way to handle any lip sync imperfections. You can just simply cover them with B-roll. For this final demo clip, I actually use VO 3.1 for the A-roll mostly because it consistently gives the better results. And the funny thing is that when you use the same character, it actually tends to match the same voice automatically. So you don't usually need to swap or adjust the voice at all. But if you're mixing clips from different tools, you may want to run them through a voice changer to make the audio sound the same. So the character has a unified voice throughout the entire ad and like usual we'll add the background music captions or any special effects and here's the final video I put together using this workflow. People always ask me how I still look 20 even though I'm almost 50. Yeah, you heard that right. I've been using this serum every single day and night for the past 20 years. The texture is super lightweight, it absorbs instantly, and it gives me that natural glow without feeling greasy. I honestly never wanted to share this, but since you're here, this is my gift to you. Get it at the link below and don't say I didn't tell you. So to recap, for UGC style character creation, Nano Banana Pro and Open Art Photorealistic give you the most believable results. For talking clips, VO 3.1 is currently the best option. If you want natural movement that match the audio, although other lip sync tools may be more cost effective. For simpler B-roll clips, C-Dance 1 and Clean 2.5 are my go-to that will save you credits while still looking really good. Try it yourself with a link to Open Art in the description below. If you found this helpful, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.